welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on Kylie Jenner's 21 birthday lipstick collection. If you do want to see a review and swatches, please keep watching. This is what the box looks like when it came in. I love how she updated the box to this pink unicarden. Normally it's like a black unicarden. You do have the lipsticks here. It says hashtag 21. It did also come with my packing slip. Kylie always adds one of these little personalized note cards to one of her packages. In this particular card, it says, thank you for celebrating my birthday with me in the most special way. I can't believe this is my third annual birthday collection. Enjoy XO Kylie Jenner. Hashtag 21. So this is what the lipstick collection does look like when you open it up. Look how gorgeous the packaging is. I mainly bought this because of the packaging. I love how unique it is and I was like I need these lipsticks and I love her lipstick formula. I also love her matte level lipstick. You do have six different shades. You have Rumor, Rager, August, Glam, Birthday Behavior, and Flirtini. So let's pop these open. So the first shade that we have is Rumor in this packaging. I'm not really a fan of the yellow packaging. I wish she would have had this like on the lipstick packaging. But let's see what the shade Rumor does look like on the lips. Just let me swatch the shade Rumor on the back of my hand to see what it looks like. So that's just one swipe of the shade Rumor and look how pigmented that shade is. I love this shade in Rumor. I do love Kylie's lipsticks as you guys know and I do love her matte look lipsticks as well. But one thing that I do want to point out is that this does have the same packaging as Cosmic. Cosmic was part of her weather collection. I would have preferred it to have like a birthday sparkly different package to it. But it is what it is. The next shade is August. Again, I love this packaging. I think the shade August might be a little bit too light for my skin complexion, but let's see. The shade August, I did have to do two swipes to build up the pigment. The shade August is way too light for my skin complexion. This lipstick does have a plastic scent to it. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if that's the packaging or the tube of the packaging, but it does have like a plastic scent to it. I mean, the shade doesn't even match me, so I'm probably never gonna reach for the shade, but I wanted to show you guys what the shade August does look like on my skin complexion. However, I do love the bubblegum pink packaging. I just wanna tell you guys that I'm going in order by appearance. If I'm not going by the color order, I'm sorry about that. I'm just definitely going by what's the next shade. So the next shade is the shade Rager. So here we have the shade Rager. I'm not sure about this color. This color might be way too neon vibrant on my skin complexion. So here we have the shade Rager. Looks a little bit neon. I'm not sure where I'm gonna wear this shade to, but let's see what this looks like on the lips. Rager is way too vibrant for me and I don't think I'll ever reach for this shade but I do like the lipstick formula it does sit comfortably on the lips let's see what the next shade does look like the next shade is called birthday behavior and this looks like my type of shade I had to swatch the shade birthday behavior twice to build up the pigment You can never go wrong with a red shade. I really do love this red shade. It does complement my skin complexion. The shade Birthday Behavior is a more wearable shade for me. Next shade is called Glam, and I think I might like this shade as well. It does look like an everyday shade for me. So let's see what this looks like. Here's what the shade Glam does look like. Again, I did have to build up the pigment, so this is two swatches. The shade Glam is a little bit too bubblegum pink for me, so I don't think I can wear this shade. And this shade also does have that plasticky smell to it, like the shade August did. I'm not sure if it was just the pinks. The other shades didn't have that plasticky smell in lipstick too, so that's just kind of weird for me. So let's see what the last shade does look like. The last shade in the collection is called Flirtini, and hopefully this does match my skin complexion. So here's what the shade Flirtini does look like. Again, I did have to build up the pigment in this shade. Um, this, I swatched it three times.
this shade Flirtini is a bit too pinky for my liking. Again, I would never wear this shade out because it doesn't complement my skin complexion. The only two shades that I would really wear is Rumor and Birthday Behavior. These two shades best complemented my skin complexion. The other shades were way too neon, they were way too bright, and they just didn't suit my skin complexion. I really do love the lipstick tube packaging. It is fun, colorful for her birthday. I never purchased one of her birthday collections before, and I'm so glad that I purchased this collection just for the purpose of packaging because it does look really cool, really unique. And I really haven't seen this packaging in a lipstick brand before. These are lipsticks, so they are going to transfer. They are not long-lasting, so you do have to reapply them. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.